You can sort pivot table data in multiple ways, including by values, by text, such as in alphabetical order, or by dates in months, such as from oldest to newest, newest to oldest. And you can also do a combination of all. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use the sort function in the pivot tables. So watch this video till the end so that you are able to utilize this powerful feature in your reporting and pivot table analysis. So let's start with the simple sorting from largest to smallest values. So I have a data set here. Let's create a pivot table by pressing Control A, which selects all the data. Click on Insert, Pivot Table. OK. So I want to keep it simple. I'll just bring in customer name into the rows section. And I want to see my net sales in the values section. So here you have net sales. You can simply sort it from largest to smallest values by clicking on any of the value, the number here, and clicking on data, Z to A. If you sort by A to Z, it would be sorting from smallest to largest. And if you sort from Z to A, it will be sorting largest to smallest. I click it and you see that the data is sorted by the customer with the largest value of sales. So I change the formatting a little bit. Now I want to add more and more columns and continue to sort. The next column I'm going to bring in is the country of sale. So I bring in the country and I want to keep it above my customer name. It's going to be at the level at one level up from the customer name. So I drop it here and you can see that Excel automatically sorts the country names in alphabetical order, right? Now, in this case, I don't want to sort by value. I want to sort manually and what I would like to do is bring Canada up. So the first country that should always appear in my sales report is Canada, right? So I click it here. As soon as my pointer or cursor changes into this shape of uh, four arrows pointing in four directions, I click and drag it upwards. And you see now this is manual sorting for the countries but excel will still retain the sorting by customer so for example in the case of canada we have three customers here you see that the values are still sorted by largest to smallest so for each individual field and value in the pivot table you will have separate sorting and excel will retain that sorting the way you set it up okay now any point in time you can actually check how excel has sorted your data and you can do that by clicking on the respective fields. So for example, if I want to know how are countries sorted, I can click on one of the country names and right click, click on sort, more sort options. And it shows you that this has been sorted manually. You can clearly see that. Okay. Similarly, if I do the same with customer names and if I right click, click sort and more sort options, you see that these customer names are sorted in descending order by the values of net sales, right? More on that later. What if you wanted the country names to be sorted by value as well? You can see that we have a subtotal in the pivot table. In this case, you can actually click on the subtotal for sales for any of the countries, right? So let's try Brazil this time. So I'm Clicking on the subtotal for sales for Brazil, I can either go to the ribbon, click on data and click on sort Z to A, or I could right click and sort. So I click on more sort options and I select largest to smallest and Excel gives you a nice summary of how it's going to sort. So you can read clearly that sort country. So this is the country name by sum of net sales, which is really this number in descending order right so as soon as i click ok you see that usa jumps to the top because it has the highest uh, value of net sales and canada is now the last so it's sorted by value now both for country and customer just out of curiosity were you paying attention to the customer name so far until i brought this to your attention or you were just too focused on how the sorting works let me know in the comment section okay now we have seen that excel can maintain and retain sorting at multiple levels or multiple columns right so you have sorting at customer level and then you also have sorting at country level now if you wanted you could also bring in the product and do the same thing and your sales report would be sorted then by country customer and product 
but let's skip that let's work with dates so i want to bring in calendar months because we want to learn how um, excel works with dates so as soon as i drop calendar months in here you see that it automatically sorted them by oldest to newest right so excel recognizes in this case that these are dates however if you wanted actually to do it in reverse order for example you wanted the newest month or latest month uh, first you could simply click on this cell any cell with the name of the month and then click on z to a and you see that excel has now sorted it from december to jan however what if you wanted months to also be sorted by value and not by oldest to newest so this is the this is the key difference this is why it's important which cell you have selected when you are trying to sort or perform some other functions in in pivot tables many of the functions depend on which cells you have clicked on a pivot table right so in this case rather than clicking on the name of the month you will click on the value any value for the month so you will see that as soon as i click on sort largest to smallest value the values are now sorted by month for each customer so you will see that for the for spreadsheets limited june was the month with the highest value of sales and then it was may but not only that you will also notice that wherever this was different for example for the second customer may was the month with the highest value of sales so for each customer it will depend on which month we had the highest sales and it will sort according to that so when it comes to dates or months you can sort either by oldest to newest and in that case you have to click on the name of the month or the name or the date itself but if you want to sort by highest values you will click on the value and then sort based on that now if you bring in another field with value so for example if you bring in standard margins into the value section you see that the first time you bring in your sorting will not change excel will retain the sorting the way you set it up but now for example you think that standard margin is more important for you than um, your sales then you can also click on any of the values on the standard margin and sort just the way you did for net sales so for example currently we have june at the top but we can see that standard margin for may was higher than june and if i now click on sorting again uh, note that my selection is currently on the standard margin so so as soon as i click on the sort button you see that may has come on top and now excel will ignore my previous sorting and it will now focus on the standard margin now so far we had subtotals at country and customer level so sorting was much easier because we could click any cell with a subtotal and sort based on that what if you do not have subtotals in your pivot table or you, you do not want to keep subtotals in your pivot table now this is the copy of the exact same pivot table just we were looking at what i've just done is i've changed the format by clicking on the design tab and changing the report layout so it's in tabular form now and also i have removed the subtotals so in this case you don't see any subtotal for example you don't do not see the subtotal for the country of uh, brazil you also do not see the subtotal for the customer right how do you still sort by country or customer in this case what you can do is rather than using the ribbon just click on the country for example and right click and click on sort and click on more sort options now here you can see that it gives you the option to sort by descending order and click on descending and if you leave this as country it will be still looking at the field of the country name and it will do a z to a sorting right so reverse alphabetical sorting but you want the sorting by let's say standard margin right so you have an option there if you click the drop down menu you can either sort by net sales or by standard margin and if i click on sum of standard margin and click on ok now you will see that the sorting is done by the country which has the standard highest standard margin and if you go back to our previous pivot table you will see that this is exactly what it was here right but now with the subtotal we can clearly see here but if in your pivot table you do not have subtotals you can still do that sorting you just have to right click and click on sort and more sort options and of course you can apply the same for customer names as well 
If you're finding this information helpful, make sure you click thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe as well. Do you know that you can add additional fields in the pivot table with custom calculations? So for example, in this pivot table, I don't have the standard margin percentage, but I can create a standard margin percentage using calculated field. I have an entire video explaining the calculated field and calculated items, how to use them and make your pivot tables more automated and faster. So make sure if you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch that, that video right now. I will leave a link in the description below. I hope that this video was able to help clarify some of your questions related to sorting in pivot tables and now you can improve your reporting and drive better decisions through your reporting and analysis.